All right. Um, we have in in the Osborne systems. There's a program called autost.com, autostart.com, okay? And what that program does is when you boot a drive, a, a, a floppy, right? You put in a floppy and you hit A. When it, when it loads in, it looks for that autostart program and it's executing it. This, this logo here and the loading Osborne is, is, uh, is coming from uh, coming from that auto start program. So this particular disk is WordStar. So it automatically executes WordStar all by itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. We can exit. So this auto start program, the source code for that auto start program is available. In fact, it's actually in the user manual. It talks about that and talks about how you might want to change change it for your own use. And so let's do that. Let's 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 make one special just for just for us. Okay. And so what we're going to do is uh, we'll go back to WordStar, um, and we will be editing a assembler program. Okay. And the assembly program is over on the B drive, so we're going to log log to the B drive. Uh, B. So now we're on the B drive, and the program there is autostart.asm. So we're going to load a program. You can create document programs, or you can create non-document programs. We're going to create a non-document program, or edit a non-document program. It says, what is it? All right, so we're going to uh, load a file. It's autostart.asm. And there we go. Uh, autostart.asm, written by uh, Tom Hogan of Palo Alto. Uh, he's written some books, I recognize the name. So if we say Control-C, it goes down a page at a time. Uh, all CPM programs uh, start at address 100 hex, so they're orging it there. Um, you can just kind of ignore their program and just have to change a few things at the end in order to make it sort of yours. Um, so we get down to this point here. So um, this line here that says file name, file name uh, data bytes 06 is how many bytes of information you might have. Um, and then you put in what you want the program to execute. So it's going to execute DIR, OK? If you took a look at the uh, program that we just ran for WordStar, this would say WS. It would, and it would execute WS when it turns on. But our program is going to execute DIR when it turns on. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to do a DIR. Now, the other thing this program does is it, it creates that cool uh, Osborne logo, and uh, that's down at the very bottom here. This is all of the uh, code here to do the Osborne logo, all right? It's encoded in a certain funny way, but uh, that gives you all of the Osborne logo. But it types the logo out, and then it types out end message, okay? An end message you could have here saying loading WordStar or loading SuperCalc or whatever. And ours is going to say, um, let me, let me uh, go down here to our line and message. I'm using control D to cursor over. So it's going to do a, it's going to, it's going to print the logo and then it's going to do a character turn line feed and then type MSI Osborne computer character turn line feed and then it'll execute that DIR stuff. Okay, so when you're done with this, you hit uh, Control K and those are all of the file things and you can say D, which is done, or you can hit X, which is save and exit, or you can hit Q which is don't do anything at all, I believe. Uh, let's see here, done, edit, done, exit, save. I think he was right. Yeah, 
Q, Q says un, we've unchanged the file because I've already edited it, unchanged it, and it comes back in. So let's exit. Um, oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to exit, which is X. Okay, so now we can go to the B drive. We're already there. We'll do a directory. Okay, oops, D I R. All right, so we have had this file here. Type auto st.asm, and that's the file that we just uh, either created or edited or whatever. That's the file that we're interested in. Now we need to assemble it. Okay. And so we'll do ASM, that's an assembler program, ASM auto start, okay? And so it's going to run its assembler program, which is uh, version 2.0, I guess. So this comes with, this comes with uh, Osborne. They shipped out ASM as part of the, uh, as part of the system. Okay, so ASM is going to create a couple files. It's going to create a... Um, a printout file of the assembly, and it's going to type. It's going to print out a Intel hex format. Okay. So if we um, type auto st dot prn, it created this prn file. Okay, and the prn file is the actual assemble code. You can look at the hexadecimal, you can look at the address value and the uh, data values and stuff. Um, and this is exactly how the assembler has interpreted everything. So you can look at that. Um, it also created a, a Intel hex file. And this should look familiar from, oops. Ah, uh, I'm kind of reaching around the camera and I'm not I'm not in the right spot here. Type auto st dot h e x. There we go. This should look familiar. Uh, it's it's an Intel hex file. So this is uh, this is all of the code that the uh, uh, program needs. All right. So now that we have hexadecimal code, we need to create a com file, a dot com file, an executable. And we do that with the load command. You say load. And what load does is it takes that hexadecimal file and creates a com file. Okay, so now we should have a com a com file. Okay, so we have a dot com, and we can execute it. See what it does, and it prints out msigi Osborne computer, and it does the directory. So we've created our own S, uh, auto start program. And um, I have actually put that on my working disk. This is the disk, which is, where is it? Uh, let me find the disk that I normally always boot up on. It has everything that I need. Uh, not that one, not that one, this one. This is my working disk. So I'm going to put my working disk into drive A, and I'm going to hit the reset button, and I'm going to boot up into CPM for the beginning of the day. And it loads my thing, and it says MSI Osborne computer, and it gives me all the files. And, and these are all the files that I normally need. I, I need, you know, DDT and add and dump and list and load and uh, pip, Kermit. So these are all kind of system level file stuff. So I put everything on one disk. Um, now we don't know how much uh, file space we have left. We can get that by saying stat. Um, it says that we have 12K left. Or we can run this program, uh, xdir. And xdir will tell us what is the size of all those files that we have and uh, how much space do we have left, which is 12K, which is which we, what we already knew. We could also do a stat 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 of a and stat of a it's the same thing as stat and then we can do a stat of dev i think it is 
Uh, that'll tell us where things are. I'm trying to remember how to do a stat of everything. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember it offhand, but anyway. So that gives you an idea how to create an auto start program. Uh, you can have the auto start do anything. Um, there's also ways to create uh, batch files and stuff in CPM as well. So you could have one of those to do even more stuff. But uh, there you go, auto, oops, auto, auto SD. It will automatically run that program if it's on the disk.